Hey everyone, Eric here back with another video. When I first made my video about my ceramic brakes, I had just gotten them and that video came out about a year ago. And in that video, I mainly just went over my first initial impressions from when I made the switch. On that video, I got a couple of comments about how the brakes actually perform once they're worn in and as well as asking me to extrapolate on some of the things I talked about, including the amount of brake dust they create. So let's answer the first one. After having used these brakes for a while and through the winter, my main thing I notice is that they don't bite as much uh, when it's cold out. This includes during the winter as well as just after washing your car when the brakes are a little bit cold. Uh, not so much that they don't let you stop, but there's a point where the braking isn't as effective and they don't grab like the semi-metallic or OEM pads do, uh, giving you a more gradual feeling as you stop. Another thing I notice is that they squeal. Just like the brake feel, this is something that usually goes away fairly quickly and it only pops up when it's cold out. I think this is mainly due to them being harder than normal pads, making them slip a little bit until they're actually able to bite into the rotor itself. And unlike regular pads, once they reach that temperature and higher, they'll perform consistently and won't fade as much. That being said, these pads aren't recommended for track cars because above the normal te operating temperatures, they'll begin to fade a little bit. The squealing isn't as bad as carbon ceramics, but there are specially designed ceramic pads you can buy, which are designed to reduce the amount of squealing that's created. But like I mentioned, it's not that bad, and even at its worst, slowing down a couple of times at a stop sign is enough to get them to quiet down. Now the main reason why I bought these pads was to reduce the amount of brake dust I had to deal with on a weekly basis. I don't know what the OEM pads were made out of, but they made a mess. A muff that about half hour of driving, even with minimal stopping through downtown, my rooms would be covered and it looked like I forgot to clean them. With these, however, I went the extra mile and I haven't washed my car in one month. It's been rough. <laughs> But I did this to provide a better example than in my last video where I just drove around for a couple days and did a quick little swipe test. In that short little amount of time in my last video, looking at the rims, you wouldn't notice a big difference. Most of the buildup would be on the back of the rim or, and as well as the barrel of the rim, but nothing on the faces. But with this month of driving, I've got about as dirty as I can, and it's pretty obvious now. It's like on pretty much every other car on the road, the front does a majority of the braking. So if these pads do indeed create less brake dust, the front should be noticeably cleaner than the back. So come on with me and we'll take a look at the back wheels first and see how dirty they are. So as you can see, they're quite dirty all the way around. It kind of has like a, a bronze tinge to it, I guess, from the rust. Uh, so yeah, let's do a swipe test. Ugh. So there we go. This is the super scientific test we did in the last video. Uh, the barrel is pretty much caked even more than this part here, just because the dust sits in there and doesn't fly out as much. But uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Let's do, there we go, middle finger. Not sure if you can see it because the lighting is not the best. I will have pictures below or I'll just overlay this one right now just so you guys get a better look. Uh, even the dust cap is covered in the uh, brake dust, including the wheel as well. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at the, at the front. So if this stands true, the back, which is really dirty, should be dirtier than the front, which should create less dust or less visible dust like I mentioned earlier on. And as you can see, I'd say that's pretty true. I mean, just looking at it, you, obviously you can see right inside the barrel is quite a bit cleaner. The spoke as well is pretty clean. Uh, the outside's a lot cleaner and it doesn't have that gold tinge or that bronze tinge that the rear wheels have, which means that there's not as much metal or certain types of metal that don't oxidize in the same way as on the regular pads. So obviously it's less gross looking and obviously lighter looking as well because it's more clean. So as you can see, the inside of the room is pretty covered as well as the front side of the room, which is something that we didn't see in the last video. On the front, however, it's noticeably lighter looking. With the regular pads, the dust will oxidize and turn this wheel a weird rusty brown color, mainly due to the materials in them. The ceramics, however, don't contain as much or any of the same materials as the OEM pads do. So I can't really say definitively if there isn't as much dust, it's just less noticeable dust. So what are some other things you should consider here about the ceramics before you switch? Well, the main thing is the cost. For my car, just OEM front pads cost about $60. Ceramics on this car cost around $100, so quite a bit more, just under double. But you also have to consider that you're literally just switching the pads. So you don't have to switch the rotors, the brake fluid, anything like that, just the pads themselves. And also the pads, because they're harder, will last longer than the OEM pads. So it's kind of like an upgrade in terms of performance that you're getting, the less dust that you're creating, as well as the longevity. So do I think these pads are worth it? Of course, I personally bought them just to reduce the amount of brake dust I had to see on a weekly basis. But even in this video, I took it to the extreme, but the point still stands. The backs do create more dust than the ceramic pads, or at least just less noticeable dust. And it doesn't oxidize, meaning your wheels won't be stained if you have uh, brake dust on your wheels for an extended amount of time, like I have in this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Before I go, I want to remind you guys to rate, comment, and subscribe.